It took India less money to send something to Mars than it took Hollywood to send Matt Damon to a fake Mars. The route the spacecraft took to Mars was a point of contention. Due to the limited power of the PSLV, the spacecraft first orbited Earth for several weeks, gradually increasing velocity through a series of six orbital maneuvers before escaping Earth's gravity. After a 298-day interplanetary journey, the orbiter successfully entered Martian orbit. This wasn't the originally planned launch trajectory. Almost in parallel with the PSLV, ISRO had already begun work on a more powerful rocket, the GSLV, short for Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle. While the PSLV was built for polar orbits, the GSLV was designed to carry heavier satellites into geosynchronous orbit at 35,000 kilometers. The plan for the Mars mission was to use the more powerful GSLV and take a more direct route, but that vision ran into trouble. Two consecutive launch failures of the GSLV in 2010 shook confidence in the vehicle, just as the Mars mission was being conceived. With the launch window in 2013, the ISRO did not have enough time to fix the problems and had to fall back on the longer PSLV-driven route. 